We are going to do a donation while we're here at Tampa Woo! to a veteran organization. We can't wait. It's going to be the first time that we're ever going to do it in front of people. Yeah. In public. That's true. It's going to be so cool. You got to stick around later in the video to see that. It's going to yeah. be awesome. Well, we're packing up. We are getting ready to hit the road to uh, Tampa to go to the Florida RV Super Show. And I'm out dumping tanks, getting ready to move. This is our first year we'll be camping at the fairgrounds. This is the problem that we have. We got these deep, muddy ruts that lead up if you back directly to the RV. This is where we've been parking. I probably should have been parking over there the whole time just to keep this dry. I didn't even think about it. It was just raining so much, and so now, I don't think we're gonna be able to hitch up straight on because we would just get stuck right here. So I'm gonna to have to uh, hitch at an angle right there, swing it out this way, and then back around out there. And we're lucky. Now that we got the Gen Y hitch, we can hook up at like an angle this way, and you see it's way drier and more gravel over here. So I can hook up at this angle. If we still had the slider hitch, I'd have to, I'd have to line up straight on, and I'd have to use four wheel drive to get out of here for sure if I was even able to get out of here. But uh, thank goodness this is the second time that the new Gen Y hitch has saved us from having to try to get through mud hooking up straight. We're gonna be linking up with some friends at a gas station because uh, the fairgrounds sent out an email saying that if you wanna to camp together, you should arrive on the same day, preferably at the same time. So to increase our odds of being close to one another, we are gonna meet up at a gas station and then caravan over to the fairgrounds. Well, we're all set up. We've been set up for a little bit, but it was raining. I couldn't come out and show you, but it's tight out here in the vendor area. You can see here across from us, there's no one here yet. That's all going to be filled up by the time we're all said and done. We got neighbors. We got Mike and Susan from RV Blogger right here. We got Chris and Katrina from Our Everyday Getaway, and then us. And then you have Joel and Tanya from This Is Our Adventure. All right, let's go and see what Leslie and Scout are up to inside. Oh, it's nice and warm out here. It's cold out there for Florida, man. It's crazy. Leslie's in here hanging out. Yeah. What you doing? Watching No Sticks, No Brits. Oh, yeah. Jason and Jen, what are they up to? Yeah. They're kayaking down Peace River. Oh, yeah? I'm kind of hoping that they find some, like, snaggletooth gators left. <laughs> oh, yeah? Around. He yeah. found some shark tooth. Yeah, he did. On the last episode. Yeah. But maybe they will find some little snaggletooth gator teeth. She, she mentioned she has no desire to really, like, be by gators yeah so i'm kind of hoping like one just like floats up next they're all <laughs> all gangly <laughs> and scout's hiding he it's cold so he's like you should be out here under your heat lamp buddy he's under the ramp he thinks that if he hides he'll get warmer somehow but he's not he's got a great view of one strange adventures rig that's about the extent of his view while we're here <laughs> but um but yeah we are, we're settled in. We got a, a lot going on on the agenda. We'll take you along with us yes, and show you all the fun stuff. But the, really the most exciting part is we are gonna do a donation while we're here at Tampa Woo! to a veteran organization. We can't wait. It's gonna be the first time that we're ever gonna do it in front of people, Yeah. in public. That's true. It's gonna be so cool. You gotta stick around later in the video to see that. It's gonna yeah. be awesome. You know, this year we're doing something we've never done before. Yeah. We're actually helping set up Yeah. one of the booths. Uh, because of the weather, a lot of the uh, staff couldn't get in. Flights were delayed or canceled because of the weather up north. Yeah, so one of our sponsors, Blue Technology, uh, the water filtration system, they didn't have any manpower. So uh, after the content creators meet up, they got desperate and yeah. asked us. Hey, can you come help? So we're happy to do it. And it's really cool. And it's, it's cool being able to see like the behind the scenes stuff before yeah. Industry Day because this is the day before Industry yeah. Day. So Corbin is uh, showing us where he wants everything set up. and. Use our muscles. Yeah. Using our muscles. <laughs> Just to give you a little bit behind the scenes, this is the day before industry day, and this is what everybody's doing. There's people everywhere setting stuff up. Vendors are still setting stuff up. Industry day is tomorrow. There is going to be a bunch of content creators and other vendors in here tomorrow, and this is not even close to being set up. Let me show you the before of the Blue Tech booth. This is the before the Blue Tech booth, and so we will come back tomorrow and show you the after. I've done like one and a half boxes. Leslie's done like six boxes. In my defense though, I've been filming a little bit too. So. Yeah, whatever. I'm working hard I'm over here, I'm man. I'm a professional box builder in my spare time. Yeah? Yeah. Or it's a lot of army meetings. 
that is That's probably it too. For the yeah. <laughs> with my element. We're gonna make this booth like awesome. Yeah. This is gonna be the best booth at the Tampa show. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Yeah, we're gonna be on this uh, this big display in front of Blue Tech. <laughs> We got most of it set up. It's gonna look a little different uh, when the show actually opens up, but uh, hey, really cool. All right, we're back at the Blue Tech booth and Leslie's gonna show us around. It looks way different than it did yesterday when we were setting up. So we got the big monitors here, got the table with some product display here, the spinning table. Yeah, set up how the system's gonna work. Exactly, the whole entire system and how it works from start to finish, from the spigot, through the filter system, through the water softener and then into your coach with all the accessories down here too and the cool blue bag. Leslie wants a blue bag. I do want a blue bag. And then all the product back here where people can go shopping. Yeah. And then the big uh, banner in the back for Blue Tech. Everything you need to have a proper water setup. That's right. And if you couldn't make it to Blue Tech to the Tampa show in person, you can always shop online and use our link to save you 10%. And we'll leave that in the description of the video. Yep. All right, fast forward a couple of days. Uh, it is the first full day of the show and we're at the uh, Bootleggers Brewing Company because this is where we're gonna do our very first big meetup with several other creators. We're here with uh, the Brazen Brits tonight with Downsizing Makes Sense, with Our Everyday Getaway, This Is Our Adventure, and The Roadsmiths. And we rented out the whole brewery and we're in the process of setting up. We left the show early so we could set up. Here's everybody setting up all the swag and all the giveaways. We got some raffles for everybody. We'll be seating over here. There's gonna be a bar out here for everybody to hang out. Um, we're expecting about 130 people each session, two sessions. And it even has a little upstairs. I'll take you upstairs so people can have some more room to hang out up here. A little lounge. Nice and cozy. A little couch with some extra seating down here. And then a good view of the bar over here. All the ladies are working out the logistics of how the check-in, the name tags, the swag sales, and the raffles are going to go. We got some cool stuff. All of our great sponsors that we have, uh, I'll leave links in the description to all of the channels that are here for this meetup and to all of our great sponsors who all donated some either some monetary value Give us some money to give away to some veterans or they gave us some products to raffle off or both we appreciate all that because we wouldn't be able to do stuff like this without our sponsors there's all of our swag we got some we got some cool wayward wag cups look at these guys then we got some wayward wag hats some decals leslie's getting it all together leslie's even sporting some of the swag got the hat hold a cup look at you go Oh yeah, got the wag swag, you're fancy. Like Applebee's. <laughs> it's another little seating area out here where people can come out and hang out. I have to say, this is a pretty good size. This will be, this will be nice. So people, it's pretty small inside, but people can come out here, have a drink. It is a little chilly outside. It's chaos and mayhem. The Brazen Brits just showed up. We're getting all the rest of the swag out. Everybody's panicking. We're trying to get the tickets. For, we got to check people in. We got to scan their QR codes when they come in. We're trying to get the sponsor ads put up on the TVs over here. It is crazy. The crowd has begun to roll in and we have avoided our worst nightmare. And our worst nightmare is always that no one will show up to the event. And we know we sold tickets, but it's always just one of those things like, man, I hope somebody shows up to see us tonight and they have they've shown up and we appreciate everybody that's here tonight thank you so much if you're watching this and you showed up to this event thank you all the stress all the work all the panic has been worth it because you showed up and hung out with us oh man session one is over it was fantastic oh. it was phenomenal what a great time thank you all for coming out everybody that came out and now we're gonna do it again let's do it again session two here yeah. we go well, fast forward a couple of days. Uh, we had a great time at the meetup the yes. other night. And so it's a couple of days later now. We're still at the show, still hanging out at Atlanta RV. Mm -hmm. But tonight is a very exciting night because we are making a donation. That's right. We're going to Phil and Stacy's event from today is someday. And so we were looking for a veteran organization while we we're in the, in the area. And they're donating anyway. And we're going to be there because they just revealed the cast of RV Unplugged <laughs> Season 2. So we're going to go to that event. And we just figured, hey, what better way than to just 
piggyback on theirs and add some more money to the pot. That's right. But for now, we're going to continue our meetups. We brought Scout out. It's the warmest day of the show. Best it's really day. the only day we could bring him. <laughs> and he is already fired He's up. fired up with everybody. And looking forward to meeting everybody. Hi. All right, well, let's go meet some people. And then let's go give away some money. Yes. All right. Let's do it. We have, since we started our YouTube channel almost five years ago, uh, we were very involved in the veteran community back in Fort Benning, Georgia, where we left, we launched from. And we missed that. We missed that veteran community. And so we decided that we would take a portion of everything that we earn on all of our social media platforms and we would donate it to veteran organizations. We've been doing that for the last four years since we've been traveling on the road. And we have donated over $45,000 to veterans. <laughs> We're trying to catch up to Phil and Stacy. <laughs> trying to catch up to them. Uh, we had an event a couple of nights ago, um, and we raised over a thousand dollars. Can we get Chris and Katrina from Our Everyday Getaway and Ken and Pam from the Roadsmith to come up here with us? We had an event a couple of nights ago with uh, the Roadsmiths for Ken and Pam, Our Everyday Getaway, Chris and Katrina, Lawrence and Natalie from the Brazen Brits. Larry and Alice from Downsizing Makes Sense, and uh, Joel and Tanya from This Is Our Adventure. We raised over $1,000, and we already had enough to make our next donation as just the Wayward Wag, so we took that money and we added it to the money that we raised on Wednesday night, and so tonight we are gonna donate to the Elks National Foundation so that you guys can disperse those funds. So tonight we are gonna donate a check to you guys for $6,150. And we know that Phil and Stacy are gonna donate a bunch of money. We know RV Unplugged is gonna donate a bunch of money. So this is gonna go way far to help the veterans in the Tampa community. And we could not do this without you guys. We have some Wagsters, yeah. some, of, some of our insiders in the audience. So this is a big portion of where we get our funds. Thank you guys so much for supporting us and for supporting our veterans. Yeah. And thank you to Phil and Stacy for putting this event on tonight. We could have done it without you guys also. Thank you so much. Well, that's a wrap from Tampa. Yes. We're packing her in and heading out of here. But um, before we left, we wanted to say thank you again to everyone who supported us making the donation thank you to phil and stacy for having us out to your event yeah, and you. it was awesome we want everybody to know we weren't able to say it while we were actually giving the check we wanted to make sure that we told you that all the funds that we were able to donate are staying in the local tampa community mm -hmm. they're going to help homeless vets navigate their benefits get established you know pots pans dishes sheets Essentials. all the yeah. stuff that they need when they actually place these homeless veterans yeah in a place and it really it really does make a difference you are all making a difference and we appreciate you so much if you want to help us help a veteran while we travel everything you need to know is right down in the description of the video stick around for a few more seconds we're going to honor a fallen hero and thanks again we'll see you next time bye